it's been a long year. I, I say it's been a long year, but it's been a long year and a short year all in the same uh, token. Because I look back and go, God, it's been the longest year of my life. But then uh, I look back and go, man, I can't believe it's already been a year because time has just flown. Um, I've had that exact scenario take place countless times. Got into a vehicle pursuit, got into a foot pursuit, and everything turns out just fine and we don't end up talking about it. Um, because there's nothing outside of the arrest, there's nothing exciting to talk about. Well, this one just kind of took a little bit of a different twist um, and kind of thrust me into the spotlight. Um, I've heard about it and I listened to it. Um, it's it's hard. I, I haven't watched the video yet specifically because I know it's on there. Um, I don't know that that's a mountain I'm ready to climb just yet, and I don't want to watch it. And 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 I talked to Brad earlier before all this, you know, it came out. He knew what he could release and not release, um, and I'm okay with it being out there. Um, I just I don't think that you'll ever catch me sitting down and just randomly watching that video because it's just it's a little bit more than than I really want to go through. I've already been through enough. How in the heck did that bullet hit me in the face and end up in my in my lung? Given how I was positioned and how I was laid up and everything that went on. That makes no sense to me. And then we went back to the camera footage and I asked the major case detectives, I said, well, how did this happen? Because you can see the guy's shadow walk over the top of me and then it sounds like a cannon goes off. Well, that, there's a reason for that. You know, he was, that was his kill shot as he thought. Um, that, that round I took to the face was a point blank range. That man was trying to execute me. He put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger and he thought he killed me. It traveled down my face, broke my jaw, ended up nicking my heart and landed in my lung. That's not some random distant shot he gave me. Um, that was him actively trying to execute me. I mean, I had already been knocked over into the bush and was laying face down and he walked over to me, put the gun in the bush next to my head and pulled the trigger. I have solace in the fact that I'm alive and he's not. And I never have to look at that man in the face ever again. And nobody, and I get to sleep at night knowing that he will never hurt anybody else ever again. And and I think that's the, that's really the one thing that keeps me calm about it. I enjoy the fact that people are inspired by my story, and that's kind of why I continue to tell it, and why if anybody wants to hear it, I'll talk to them about it. Um, but I don't do this for me, that's for sure. I guess I'm just in the long run. I'm just glad to be alive.